Hi everyone, it's very late where I am, but there's just a quick note I have to give before the video starts. Uh, the video actually lost all of its actual music and audio, which means I had to edit in the audio myself, uh, which is kind of fun. It wasn't too bad, uh, but I only noticed it kind of later on in the day. Uh, also, sometimes in the video it went out of sync, so I had to resync it every couple of seconds. This is a problem that happened before, and I don't know what the actual problem is. Uh, it seems to be a problem like when it comes to direct capture, but every single recording before and after is perfectly fine. I hope you still enjoyed the video, and I'm really enjoying this series. Hello it's Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is Pokemon Legends Arceus. This is my first ever playthrough of Pokemon Legends Arceus. We have a new quest upon us, and last time, and I usually don't talk about like, hey, last time on the videos, but like last time I really loved the interaction between the leaders of the Diamond and the Pearl Clan, or at least members of the, of the Diamond and the Pearl Clan. I thought they did a really good job of like, you know, creating some cool lore about this game like right away so that the game becomes really interesting, at least the world becomes super interesting. Yeah, like... Someone was saying that this person, like, looks a lot like Cyrus from Diamond and Pearl, and I agree. I 100% agree. It's really cool to see that. Um, ah, uh, good, you're already here. Professor Laventon, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Ned, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of the Cleaver's frenzy state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver's a mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. The security corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but... I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's far trickier, a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to perfectly be clear on this point. The mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Uh, not particularly. Well, you have no choice in the matter. <laughs> yes, I love it. Like, I love they give you that option. In some Pokemon games, they're just like, you know, like, yeah, we don't have a choice, but they give us an option to be kind of snarky, or at, least, or at least be, like, to doubt ourselves, you know? Let's go over the details that you need to know. The Diamond and Pearl Clans revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what uh, sorts of offering they normally leave for this cleaver. Ned, we need to speak with you? Oh my god, I just can't get over how good this dude looks. <laughs> it's such an awesome design. Like, it's so good. Listen, that rift in space-time uh, seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. The world might be Almighty Sinnoh itself, where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. The true Almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through space and time, that's space and time rift, that might mean you traveled through time. By Almighty Sinnoh's powers. Think of it, you must be swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you. Oh, amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver. Quell its frenzy. Oh, yes, yeah, sure, sure, buddy. I'll do it for you. Well, you certainly caught us as a good time, young Adaman. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Uh, I've heard of- oh, sorry. Yeah, good to meet you, Professor. Mr. Professor. Uh, share some of that knowledge with me sometimes. It's, the dialogue boxes are really weird to me sometimes, because, like... And, like, this is, like, you know, such a minor nitpick. Don't even take it. It's not even going to take at even, a, like, a decimal point. Uh, a decimal of a point off, like, uh, like... This game's rating. It's not even, it's not going to go down to a 9.9 9 .9 to a 9.8 or whatever. Uh, but, um, I think sometimes the dialogue boxes are super weird to me because, like, I'm so used to dialogue boxes in JRPGs where, like, it completes, like, it has one complete thing and not just, doesn't add on to it. You know what I mean? If you get what I'm saying? Because it goes, like, I don't know what I'm saying. It's, it's such a nitpick. It's such a minor nitpick. It doesn't even matter. Now let's el elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask. Those are the Galaxy Team of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've got to share Hisu, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't too many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best. I hope we've got. See what I mean? <laughs> Uh, you'll find Cleaver at the Grand Tree Arena. That's in the very heat of the hardwood. His warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know? He'll tell you about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish uh, him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. He 
He certainly left quickly. Once he finished talking, I suppose he really values his time. I do too. Like, I'm one of those people that's like, 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 I think, like, I remember a few years back, I had, like, an argument with someone. And then, like, after 20 minutes, they were just like, look, this doesn't matter. And I remember just being like, if it doesn't matter, why'd you waste my time? <laughs> I think time is so valuable, uh, whether it be even like, and I don't mean just like, I want to do everything in, in, in with, with the time I have. It's more just a situation of like, uh, like the time I spent doing this uh, could have been spent playing a video game. Could have been spent lying down and relaxing, you know, could have been spent, you know, just, you know, having dinner. It's like, you know, it, not, it doesn't have to be like this grand spectacle of, of like a, of a, like an amazing adventure I'm having to, to, to not waste my time, you know what I mean? And my, my, and my weren't wrong, you know. If you're to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new heights camp would be a handy place for setting out towards the Grand Tree Arena, and you should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Um, I have all the best Pokemon. Wait, can you evolve? Oh yeah, they can evolve. Let's evolve them right now. Angry girl, angry girl, angry girl, angry. Man, the, evolved, the, the evolutions here are so wild, they're so primal almost, you know what I mean? There's no containing them even. Oh my god, I love Angry Girl. And then we have you. Tiny. I'm very tiny, but watch what happens when I evolve. We all go see in the other game. No, it's not, it's a spoiler. Wait, just wait, watch this. It's incredible. You won't even, you won't even think about it. It's, it's amazing. I'm still tiny, but I'm not, I'm not a beard. <laughs> Luxio, it's such a great Pokemon as well. But we're actually switching out Tiny for Pikachu. And like, again, I don't want to, like, I, as I said, I don't want to have the same uh, team. You know what I mean? Like, you get what I'm saying? I don't want to have the same team I just had in, in Diamond and Pearl. It sounds like you'd be wise if you lend me uh, your ear for a moment and hear what I have to say. Mutton Chops boy. We are the Mutton Chops clan. Always have mutton chops. You can carry even more in that satchel of yours if you learn a trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Uh, sure. Yeah, sure, why not? I like your initiative. My teaching fees need 100 uh, pokey dollars, all right? Uh, you know what? Um... Yes, sure. Take my money. Take my money. I'm trying to save this whole place, but take my money. I'm going to report you. You made space to keep more kind of items. Okay, thank you. And that there, that, that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in by packing things rightly? If you want to be able to carry more things, there's more I can teach you. What do you say? Teach me. 200, yes. Yes. Thank you. Yes, teach me something, please. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There's times when even a single extra item can mean the difference between life or death, you know. I agree. And, like, that's what makes a good survival game. You know what I mean? That, like, the reason why survival horror, like, original survival horror, like, Resident Evil or Silent Hill was so good, uh, especially Resident Evil, is, like, making trips throughout that mansion or making trips throughout the city and not having the item you need is, like, such a big deal um, in this game. There's a guy who has a quest over here. Did we already get- I think we already got a few quests, so like, actually, let's just check if he- if he needs- yeah, let's check what he wants. You there, you seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help? Uh, me out with something? I'd be very grateful if you could try to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. Oh, that's why he was scared, because of his face. So without further ado, here's the recipe. You obtain the recipe for Pokeshi Dolls. Um, three logs of wood. Okay, we could probably find three logs of wood. I invented them, you see, a special item that could, we could make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Uh, we could find three logs. Yeah, I like the quests in this game, by the way, because they actually... Uh, you can do them on the way. You know, it's not just a situation where it's like you have to, like, go out of your way to do them. You can literally do them on the way to the, your, your next destination. Also, you know, I understand the complaints of the visuals in this game. Uh, Anti-aliasing is, like, 100% a, a problem. Uh, it, it, in terms of, like, if you look at it as a problem, I guess. Uh, for me personally, like, um, I don't, I don't want it to like really impact the playthrough. To me, when I look at this, look, when I'm sitting in my chair behind a microphone and I'm not just like looking and inspecting stuff, everything looks really pretty. Like the sky looks pretty, the town looks pretty, and I'm good with that. 
Like, I think one of the funniest things is people will give Digital Foundry a lot of crap for, like, looking at every fine detail, but it's, like, their job. Like, you don't have to do that. You know what I mean? Like, when, like I was watching Digital Foundry video and they were like, yeah, and if you look at the shadow very closely, it, like, moves a little bit on, like, in, in an unnatural way. And it's like I, would, like, I wouldn't really notice that stuff, really, unless it was, like, really apparent. Headband. Oh, we don't want the headband. We don't want to be Weeboo today. Um, fancy kimono. Oh, my God. Everyday kimono. The everyday kimonos are nice. Do you have, like, a pink one? Do you not have a like a like a pink everyday kimono or is this um Sapphire is nice too, Tangerine is nice too, Amethyst, Blue Spruce, other. Um you don't have a lot of clothes. You said you had more. Oh, we can have a gi. Expert gi. Actually. I kinda want a gi. I kind of want a gi. Um, I'm trying to think who I, who, which which type of gi would I want. Like, I know how, how wrong would wear a white one, but he also wore a blue one sometimes too in Tekken. Uh, but that's not the color blue he would wear. That's the thing. Um, I know that anime character, what's his name? He's in Dragon Ball, uh, Naruto. He would wear this uh, all the time. That's kind of closer to the blue. So, like, I guess we could wear the white lily one. With the red on it, though. But, yeah, I don't know. I like it. I like it. And then we go over here. Eyeglasses. No, we ain't no... We ain't Harry Potter. That's what the kids like. The kids in school call me whenever, like, I like I would try on like glasses or something, or I try on like uh, like someone's glasses, and they'd be like, like, I think like I tried on one of the girls' glasses one day, and they're like, it's Harry Potter. <laughs> All right, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an Orange Berry, then run while it's distracted. That's not a bad idea. I'll just stick it to the plan. I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Corps boy, I was just heading out to the field lights to go right gather tumble stones, but I haven't gotten as many Orange Berries as I'd like. Are you familiar with orange berries? They restore some HP to Pokemon that eat them. Uh, so you might imagine, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see where I'm going with this? Throwing orange berries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. Could I throw these guys? Yeah, sure. You want them? <laughs> I have so many. Take as much as you want. There's, I have so many. Um, Not really, but... I'm sure you meant to say happy to help, right? Sure you did, generous soul. I won't let your kindness go to waste. Wish me luck with those tumble stones. Thank you, sir. I better get some. Re oh, refires are actually like that's really good. What the? I can't wait till we fi find a fight in Pokemon. Oh my god, we can't choose King though this time. Why do we choose as a fighting type? C can you get him only in this game? I wonder if you can. Yeah, I'd like to swap Pikachu for um, Tiny. Um, I'd also maybe, uh, like, uh, will we swap Dutch yet? Will we swap Dutch? Baboon, we might swap. I want, actually, I think Drifloon as a ghost type would be really good, would be better than the Baboon right now. But I don't know if, well, actually, you know what? Swapping, we'll swap Dutch for Drifloon in a second. Yeah. That's the idea. Swap Drifloon for Dutch once we know that we can, like, use Dutch to finish that main quest. Which is what we have to do. And we can swap with the camps anyway. Oh, it's this guy again. Volo. My name's Volo. I certainly hope you're putting the secret back stri uh, strike technique I thought you to good use. No. Oh, yeah, I'm actually. I am Volo. Sorry. I forgot about that. I have some super potions here just for you. I'll think nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. Nice. And now I must depart. The rune, there are runes that are just calling to me. There we go, his photo. Let me pass. I am a tough warrior. Uh, we're gonna go here. Wait, did we not get a second place? I thought we got second place last time.
Did we not get a second place? I was so sure we got a second place. Oh no, here we go. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I was like, oh man, we go. It's, it's all in one area. Yeah, that's fine. Um, first of all, I think this lady over here. Have we done your quest yet? Oh, so QuickTalk produced that curious sound of theirs by hitting their antenna together. That's strange. I wonder if Anvin from the Supply Corps could put together an instrument with a similar shape to those antenna. Well, for now, thanks for going out of your way to solve the t the total uh, enigma. Here, take these. Great. So now we can take Cricket Todd off our team. And we got three Vivi jokes as well. To complete a page in your Pokedex, you need to catch and battle that species over and over, right? Gosh, you're such a hard worker. Yo. Yo, I am. Yo. Great name. We had a kid in school, actually, um, who had, like, who, who's from Nigeria, and, like, he shortens his name because, like, he didn't, like, he, he doesn't like saying it, like, in Ireland sometimes, because, like, people don't know how to say it, but it's, like, I won't say his full name, but it's, like, uh, like, something like Olawali, and it's, like, so nice, and he's, like, didn't want to say his full name all the time, and it's, like, dude, that is such a freaking awesome name. We have heavy balls now. Actually, let's go to the menu for a second. You should get fancy kimono, fancy bonds, beautiful ba fo fox mask. That's it? That's it? Get with a code or a password. My codes never work. My codes never work. Why do they never work? I'm going back to town for a bit. No, I, I wouldn't. Okay, I guess I'm walking out here. We'll, get we'll do that later. We have a good team right now. Um, I would like a different flying type as well. And uh, not because I don't love Angry Girl. Angry Girl is the best. But again, like I said, I want to kind of like have a different team going forward uh, than I did before in my original in my playthrough of uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. It's going to be sad to get rid of like Pokemon like uh, Angry Girl. But I feel like already it's feeling like a super authentic playthrough for me. Uh, because I'm, like, in a cool situation now where... Actually, who, who level up Pikachu? Who wants to fight? Level 3, Shinx, what are you doing? Shinx, what are you doing? That's not very smart. It's not very smart, Shinx. Don't do that again, okay? Good boy, Shinx. And we leveled up off that? And there's a new move, too, for Angry Girl. We'll keep Angry Girl on the team, though, for as long as uh, possible. Like, I have no problem keeping Angry Girl out on the team. Drifloon as well. Get some Tumblestone, why not? We're, well, we're going the long way at this point because, you know, fast trying back to the, the village is like, whatever. And then we have to report our survey stuff and then go back to the village. If I'm reporting stuff, I would kind of want to like to have like a big chunk all at once. I don't want to just be like, oh, you got 200 coins for doing one side quest. You know, that wouldn't be very fun, to be honest. We might as well keep collecting berries as well because like, you can kind of like do it as you go. We don't, we have a water type, I forgot, yeah. Man, I wonder if that Paris is still roaming about the place. You think we could take it with a level 16 <laughs> Sal? Little beats of the music as well. Angry Boy's smart enough to run away. Yeah. Like, we don't want to, like, totally avoid fights all the time as well. You know what I mean? But, like, I guess, like, these type of fights won't matter too much. We might keep Weasel on the team. I mean, like, we didn't use him last time. We used, um... Well, who was our water type in the other playthrough? I can't believe I'm actually forgetting. If I remember correctly, we used, uh... What's so confusing, I looked it up there, like, the, I think the reason I forgot about the Pokemon is because, like, Randolph, like, unfortunately, and I think you guys would agree with this too if you watched that playthrough, Randolph just became, like, a weird, and it was my own fault, like, became, like, an afterthought after that, 
Which is not was never my intention with Randolph. I didn't want him to like become like an afterthought or for him to like because if you remember towards the end, he was still pretty clutch, but like we didn't use him nearly as much as we did at the start, and he was like our main starter Pokemon. I actually want to change some names around as well, but we want to name some of our Pokemon as well, so I'm up for doing that too as soon as possible. Uh, in fact, let's do it right now. For example, Sal, um, we're still in a fight. Oh, double fight! That is so cool. I was not expecting that. I was legit not expecting that. That's so cool. So change name. We're not going to call it Sal. I know it's not a dragon, but I'm going to call it Baby Dragon. Because, like, I want them to mean something more to me. I think Sal was a spur-of-the-moment thing. Like a salamander. Um, Pikachu uh, will change the name. So it's like a little mouse. It's like a little... I guess, like, Pikachu is a, a mouse. Sorry. Fievel. American Tale. Beautiful movie. Makes me cry. Um, Drifloon is a ghost type. We called it Danny. Uh, last time, our last ghost type, we called it Danny. Because uh, after uh, Danny uh, Filth. Um, for another ghost type, I think I'm going to call it... Uh... So, I was going to call it Papa Emeritus. From Ghost, the, the the band Ghost, but I think we call him Mama, because it's the opposite of Papa. Uh, Dumon Baboon. I like all these names. These are all great names now. Yeah, that's for that's fine. I'm good with this. You should watch Calvin's playthrough of Pokemon. It's pretty great. Uh, he stops to he stops to rename Pokemon every episode. It's the best thing you've ever seen in your life. I gotta be honest with you, Gerald. That doesn't sound like a very fun playthrough. No, no, you just gotta see it. He stops. He stops every single. Don't come near me, Mister Mister Bugoof. Take that berry, and be on your way. I'm just a poor little boy, about to get your butt. Oh my God! It's such a heavy ball. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, take, take it. Look, it's a berry. It's a berry. It's a berry. It's a berry. Look, it's a nice berry. Okay, I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> Run! <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> I'm not over here. You stay there. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Huh? 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 That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Okay. No, 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 no. You stay over there. You stay over there. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Cyndaquil can evolve, which is crazy. It's crazy how fast these Pokemon are evolving. Uh, evolve. Evolve Baby Dragon. I think the way they're evolving so fast, I think they're encouraging you to use more, like, different types of Pokemon. Quil That's what Quilava looks like? What? Are you sure? Are you sure it's Quilava? Cuz... I... Maybe it's just because I've only ever seen Quilava in 2D. <gasps> I've got to see a Pokemon that I want. I see a Pokemon that I need. Give me that Pokemon, please. Give me that Pokemon, if you please. Oh, oh sorry, no singing, no singing. Oh, shit, that's gonna come back. It's gonna see me. Thank you. 